This man is on trial for his life. Witness for the prosecution is the X-ray. The judge, a doctor. There is a tuberculous infiltration in the lower mid-zone of the right lung. There is also a tuberculous infiltration with a cavity involving the mid-zone of the left lung. In plain English, this man has advanced TB. Around him and thousands like him revolves the deadliest battle ever fought in Australia, the battle against tuberculosis. A battle that is being fought in a chain of X-ray clinics, hospitals and sanatoria all over the continent. A battle that aims to eradicate this dread disease within a generation. Nearly everybody has had TB at some time in their lives. It is not hereditary. Its source is always an active sufferer. Someone in a crowd coughs, sprays out the germs, and someone else breathes them in. As soon as the tubercle bacilli enter the lungs, the fight is on. The white cells of the blood rush to do battle. In most cases, the invaders are defeated. The TB germs are sealed off in little stone prisons constructed from calcium in the bloodstream. In this isolation, they are harmless and even give partial immunity from further infection. But they are still there, alive and waiting. Then something happens to weaken bodily resistance, a cold, influenza, or some simple sickness. Careless diet, not enough good food, such as meat, milk, cheese, fruit, and vegetables. Long periods of overwork or worry. Excessive drinking and smoking. This is the point of danger, the moment when the TB germs break free and the weakened white cells are overcome. The deadly bacilli attack the lung tissue, forming a poison that slowly melts it away. If the attack is not discovered at this point, more and more toxin accumulates. This is drained by the lymph glands and circulates throughout the body, producing symptoms that can no longer be ignored. Loss of appetite, indigestion, continual tiredness. These and symptoms like these only appear when the disease is well advanced. X-ray is the searchlight from which TB cannot hide. In a few seconds, it uncovers the truth. It can see through anyone, clothes and all. TB often strikes at youth <coughs> through age. Grandparents carrying the germ and ignorant of their condition frequently infect their children's children. Children, and adults too, can get bovine TB by drinking raw milk from a tuberculous cow. Only pasteurized milk is safe. The battle against TB is a battle for the future health of the nation. Babies under two years old are almost defenseless. If they are likely to come into close contact with the TB sufferer, they should be immunized with the vaccine BCG. Developed in 1912 by two Frenchmen, Carmet and Guerin, BCG is a bacillus prepared from an emulsion of live bovine TB germs reduced in strength through about 200 stages until it is perfectly safe. In the past few years, it has been used to give millions of children throughout the world a partial immunity against tuberculosis. In Australia, the vaccine is prepared at the Commonwealth Serum Laboratories from a culture of the original strain developed by the Frenchman. BCG is a preventive, not a cure, and can only be used on people who have not previously been infected by TB. 
To find out if previous infection has occurred or not, use is made of the Montu test, so called after the French doctor who first practiced it. Australian school children are being Montu tested in the nationwide campaign. Records are kept and vital information gained to aid doctors in their fight against the disease. The skin is pricked with a hypodermic needle carrying a weak solution of old tuberculin. This is practically painless. However, some children have a lively and fearful imagination. After two or three days, the arms are examined. If there is no sign of reaction, the MON2 is negative, proving that there has been no previous tuberculous infection. In such cases, BCG is injected under the top skin to give partial immunity. But if as a result of the MON2 test a swelling appears, the MON2 is positive, proving that there has been previous infection. This does not necessarily mean that TB germs are still active, in most cases, the body has sealed them off with calcium, but only an X-ray can show this with certainty. Clinical X-rays immediately disclose any sign of abnormality. On this evidence, a large X-ray is made. This usually shows any disease quite clearly, as this one does. Where there is still any doubt, the tomograph is used to take a series of X-ray photographs at different depths through the chest. At least one of these X-rays will show a clear picture of the abnormality, leaving no room for doubt in the doctor's diagnosis. Every year, thousands of Australians are found to be suffering from tuberculosis. Their ages range from a few months to 70 years and over. They are found in all sections of the community. About one third of all people who die between the ages of 20 and 40 in Australia die from TB. There is no need for this waste of life. Two minutes spent in an X-ray van or clinic each year by every member of the community can prevent it. A mass survey by mobile X-ray vans is part of the tremendous battle that Australia is fighting against the scourge of TB. The Commonwealth Department of Health has called for the cooperation of all states in a planned national campaign. The top authorities on TB in Great Britain describe this Australian campaign as a bold and purposeful attack. There is nothing frightening about TB if it is discovered soon enough. Numerous hospitals and sanatoria subsidized by the Commonwealth Government provide the latest treatment for nothing. While they are recovering, patients learn the simple precautions necessary to safeguard others from infection. It is only the person who doesn't know that he is suffering from TB who is a menace to the community. But it's no use resting a man's body if his mind is not also at rest. He won't get well. For this reason, the Commonwealth Department of Health has sponsored a scheme of financial allowances that has been described overseas as the most generous in the world. The TB patient knows that the best possible treatment is costing him nothing. He also knows that his wife and children are not being left without support during his sickness. If a man has been x-rayed regularly, his TB will have been discovered at an early stage before the disease has made dangerous headway, and he can look forward with assurance to returning to his wife and family and a normal, happy life. TB can be beaten. With the help of the x-ray, it can be wiped out in Australia in 20 years. The x-ray is truly a ray of hope.